Hello, and welcome everybody. Uh, today we open up uh, Lost Cavern Six Dawn Bundle. Um, I don't really. As usual, just kind of you know, trying to check them out each time around. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, well, game kind of thing, I'm guessing, going on in the back of that. Kind of thing. Hopefully, my light's actually not going to act up or anything like that. I uh, got our box here. Not too shabby sure looking. As usual, a little arts and token kind of thing. Uh, I was gonna set those aside. Uh, nope, don't go run away. Oh. Cool little die. Where's the symbol? There we go. Whoa. Oh, let's see here. Will I have any luck? Hope for some fire. Oop. Run away, die. <sighs> there with that. I didn't even call that a number yet. Um, I don't know, let's call it 11. Uh, 14. Oh, medium luck there. <laughs> there. Slide that on off up there. Set the packs down. Um, then, I appreciate these are just regular lands. Foil lands. So, kind of cool. Just realized my light's still doing a weird thing back here. Anyways, um, yeah. Why is there one? Mixed up in there. Oh. I set those aside. Um, and regular lands, but it looks like there's a Jurassic Park landing or thing in here. I'm guessing that's what the included Jurassic Park card is. Don't move. Uh, just roll and tap creatures until your next turn. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah, just regular land. And, oh, yeah, those real helpful things are. Anyways, set the house on up there. And let's just get on to opening some packs. Uh, Always some good luck here. Sign dark card. We're just gonna kind of set that up there. So that was a little off to the side more. Uh, land. Uh, okay, so yeah, mirror praying, so. Comes on, comes in front, then mirrors in back. Ooh, not too shabby. I actually was not expecting to really actually hit any Jurassic Park cards in here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna put the commons up there. And just gonna just put a Jurassic Park card right there. Um, like my Galleon. Um, you see it? Yeah, put the Jurassic Park card over there. That way I can just put my Mythic card over here. Uh, go and a token. Which we'll just set down over here. You can kind of tell I'm really organized right now. Okay. 
get her cared. In volcano. usual I'm not really separating it out from the pack or anything like that well yeah putting them like their own separate little pokes and most of the time after where they just end up sorting all the rares and mythics and one thing you know comes and comes go to another you know everybody has their own kind of like random way of sorting things Ooh, got ourselves a mythic. Bonehard Dracosaur. Okay, okay, thanks a lot, you got you there. Oh, okay, yeah, that could do it. So I'm actually in a video, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, cool little mythic there. Sunken Sentinel. Over the walk, that good. And token. Right, so I don't, I don't think this is going too bad. Granted, I don't really know what the price of most cards are right now, and I mean, prices are still kind of like fluctuating a little bit, but generally do look into. It's kind of looking a little bit that uh, prices are stabilized, and generally on Magic cards, which I'm guessing probably got more people interested in the game now, possibly, or you know they're actually kind of fixing how much they just print out and shove out into the public. Just, ooh, foil restless vents. Actually, looks pretty cool. <laughs> and a Jurassic Park token. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> I, I will just set that over there. And I'm not actually expecting to pull, you know, a bunch of Jurassic Park stuff out of a bundle. Just because, you know, generally, it's not like, you know, same with, like, booster boxes or anything like that. And booster boxes, you know, 1 in 12. I'm like, well, there's only 8 packs in these, so you're not even guaranteed a chance to get one. But well, it just kind of depends. And I got a technical second one. <laughs> Basically, the non bundle version. Okay, uh, never mind, that's a rare over there. Alright, and. Golem token. Three packs to go. <clears throat> well, this would actually be kind of cool. Grown Knights of Iclamog. Restless. Great. Uh, I'm not even going to have the, any chance of pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> but yeah. A vampire scout. Ooh. Um, was not actually expecting a special guest in here either. 
Oh, that is actually pretty nice there. Calamax the Storm Sire. <laughs> um, you're gonna go over here with the Jurassic Park ones. <laughs> pretty sweet whenever you cast your first instrument. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was just ooh, pretty nice. Um, all right, second to last pack. Uh, Oh. See, yeah, you could be your own little powerhouse kind of thing there with that. And I was real looking end up, you know, getting away with the clients. Right, yeah, back on here. And then just one of those little mini game kind of card thingies. Alright, last pack. And it's already been pretty great. Uh, you know, I, I consider it bullet. I, I kind of think for a you know, bundle um but i don't know maybe we can hit you know one more great thing and you know one more good card in here they might be asking a little too much but but yeah just that the whole thing of you know going out on on a hit card that that'd be you know, nice okay Trippantology. Learn to stockpile. <laughs> Anyways, um, and yeah, for you know, bundle, I mean, again, yeah, my special guest, Borla's Mythic, you know, Bonehorn Dinosaur, and you know, also again, you know, Jurassic Park card, you know, kind of just in there, Malcolm, um. Yeah, you know, all pretty cool there. I mean, decent little rare selection. Uh, that's nice. I say, all pretty good. Anyways, thank y'all for joining me and see you in the next video. Peace.